every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't even know if I'm talking to myself. But you are where you're supposed to be. You're doing what you're supposed to do. I've always said, I'm not a content creator. I'm not. I'm a vessel of God. Science says, show me and I'll believe. Faith says, believe me and I'll show you. We're going to Ecuador. <laughs> Let's get it. Oh my God, I haven't been on the camera in forever, but we here and we're going to freaking Ecuador, Ecuador. Ecuador, 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 specifically Guayaquil. And I've been waiting for this trip this entire month. Let's go, let's get on the road. don't play like i want to give you a quick little room tour because i have to hurry up and get ready i'm gonna meet with the crew downstairs captain said he's treating so y'all already know gotta take advantage every time they say we're paying okay i'm not fighting it so let me give you a quick little room tour and let's get out of here all right so as soon as you walk into the left you have a closet with the safe and the shelving, love that. Over here you have the bathroom. It's a huge bathroom to be honest. There's a lot of space here. And then over here you have the toilet. Then you have a shower here. Very cute, very cute. Huge mirror here. A whole bunch of space and it's not carpet. Well, I'm living. Then you have this beautiful painting. The nightstand, the one bed, this bench. Mm -hmm. To the right, you have the TV, some coffee. I'm assuming the fridge is in here. Yep, fridge. Then these two sofas and a table to do your work, which your girl is not gonna be using. And then outside, this is the view. I'm not sure what this is. It kind of looks like the Monumento from Dominican Republic. It kind of looks like that, but I have no idea what this is. But yeah, right now you can't, oh, you saw that, that's lightning. It's very bad weather right now. But yeah, guys, that is my room tour. Your girl is in Guayaquil. Your girl got another stamp. Anyways, I'm gonna freshen up and go downstairs and meet everyone because we in Guayaquil and it's Saturday. Every night fucks every day up. Every day patches the night up. Oh God, you should match it, it's that KO. No way lighter, still I fuck my 28th up. 1998, my family had the acro. Oh, the legend. Got the least six discs and a change it. Back on bars, well, I Guys, I'm in my room. Right now, it is 12.27 p.m. And the captain is so freaking funny. And he covered the bill, which was sweet. I mean, we knew this, but still. Sometimes some of them say that and they don't follow through. But this one, yeah, he a good one. And he's so funny. Tomorrow it looks like it's just gonna be you. And I, because everybody has plans. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all. The driver here gave us a Coca-Cola 
and it tastes like a Dominican Coca-Cola. And to me, the best way I can describe it is it's not as sweet as the US because you already know the US is trying to kill us. And anyways, I'm chatting. I'll see you guys in the morning for breakfast and whatever we get into. Good night. today the weather is not giving what i thought it was gonna give i knew it was like rain season but not this cloudy i don't know if i want to be by the pool i don't know what to do i want to go outside but everyone's telling me it's not safe five minutes later hello we are. <laughs> where we at oh you want to know where i'm at we outside Rockin' on stir crazy, Coco flow like 1980s. Come lit still, I drop lazy. None of that may be energy. Energy, none of that may be energy. Energy, energy. So this area in Guayaquil reminded me so much of Old San Juan with the beautiful colorful houses, the cobblestone floors, it was such a cute area.
crying, how can it be, girl? When you gave me something, I don't really feel. Oh my God! <gasps> guys i am back in my room and i'm just admiring this view let me show you minus this construction clearly and look there's a seashell in there anyways getting distracted look at this view look at the mountains wow imagine going all the way up there that's crazy and then people living up there that's crazy like this is such a gorgeous view i'm so happy outside is so humid i was not ready ecuador one any zero because i've never felt this type of humidity without any sun like whoo i was sweating in places i didn't even know existed and if you see this right here mega babe for my thick girlies that saved my thighs saved my thighs if i would have never wore that it would have been some problems okay but i'm so 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 happy that i went out of the hotel and i gave my faith to god i always do but i was so hesitant earlier today to leave the hotel because the weather looks like cloudy and gloomy and it's so easy to give into that temptation of just like oh the weather i'm not gonna do anything right and not only that we got emails about guayaquil and apparently is not safe but nowhere safe nowhere you go is safe and i'm not saying put yourself in a situation where that you can be a target be smart on where you go what you do and just walk with god that's your biggest protector majority of the time as flight attendant you're alone a lot and you're lucky if you have a crew that wants to go out with you or even just one person out of the crew that wants to go out with you and definitely like in these type of layovers it's very senior based people that can hold these type of trips so they have their set plans and they've already explored so they're not as excited as me who is a first timer and wants to do all these touristy things so i was forced to do this on my own and it was either give in to the fear or give my faith to god i'm saying all of this to say is that if you're afraid of going out by yourself don't give in to that fear and walk with god in faith because those two hours that i was out there i would have never gotten to see that and experience that and i feel like these type of moments make you stronger it's gonna make me cry because being by yourself is a challenge on, on its own being in another country on your own is like on another level and to be so in tune with yourself in these moments it's like you have to literally go through it that's the only way that you can understand where i'm coming from because being alone is a power and knowing that you can do these type of things on your own you can't excuse my language you can't fuck with me you know what i mean like oh being alone is such a superpower anyways i'm sorry i got a little too deep i've been talking for a while now but i'll check in later when it's time for our massage <laughs> I'm a rolling stone. stone I'm too hot for you to own And a whip that's meant to speed If I hurt you, would you 
guys i am back in the room my massage was good i feel really good honestly so i'm trying to rush right now because i'm supposed to be napping i'm leaving report van time 9 p.m clearly i'm not gonna be sleeping i bought some food some rice beans and penny but they call it um they call it ribs so i mean i don't know it might be ribs but to me is penny for real for real this is this is it let me turn it around so you guys could get a better look so white rice brown or frijoles i don't know and that you know what they gave me as sauces ketchup and mayonnaise what i'm gonna do with that i need lime and hot sauce baby come on but I'm going to do a taste test with you guys. So hold on. Bear with me. Let's see. These beans smell different. Not something I'm used to. So these are not regular beans. God, please. God bless the person who made this food. Hopefully this food does me well and gives me some type of nourishment. All right. Let's try this. Rice, beans, and the pork. It's good. But I need some hot sauce for sure. But my day was amazing. I cried. Good cries though. Just another moment of reflection. I've been doing so much reflection lately. It's crazy because the beginning of my healing journey of just truly learning myself. I thought I was done. Like I thought I knew me. But every day is something new. It's just never ending of evolving. And I love that for us. I love that for us. Oh my god. Not oh my god the food. Oh my god. I hope this doesn't take me to the toilet on the six hours and something flight. Because this, let me show y'all the consistency of this. Oh, no. <laughs> Pray for you, girl. But God knew what he was doing with me on this trip. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart to you and to God is thank you. Thank you for pushing me to do things out of my comfort zone in so many different ways. The 